Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Red Eyes Fusion versus Mini Fez, and this is an Iron Man. Currently, Mini Fez is on the team. Uh, team Randoms Unite, they have one person left, it's them, and then Team uh, Coat Duffy is what Red Eyes Fusion is on, they have two people left. Uh, obviously, once one team has zero people left, the other team wins, so maybe they'll be able to hit the reverse sweep, because... They already wiped out the other person, so, I don't know, let's hop right into the match. Also, after the last match, I had to <clears throat> go and cool down a little bit. Um, it was insane. Honestly, like, go watch it. Like, please. Please go watch it. Even though, like, this match, you can, like, already tell who won the last match, because, like, you know, they won their last match. But, like, seriously, it's definitely worth a watch. Just, wow, it's nuts. Absolutely crazy. But we are going to see Mini Fez when the Rock Paper Scissors shoots. So they get to decide they want to go first or second. They're going to go first around Shadal. Then the deck count is 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And then they are going to go ahead and decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Talons, Quick Launch, Chaos Space, Tracer, World Legacy, Yard Dragon. So this hand would have been excellent to go first with. Going second still not bad though. And they have Foolish Burial, Droll, Nadir Servant, Meltdown, Ecclesia. Oh. Yeah, this hand just loses going second now. Like, this hand's just way too good. They're going to go ahead and activate Meltdown. And then go grab Alistair from the deck to the hand. And then Summon Alistair, Effect. And then now we'll go ahead and grab Invocation. And then link that off into Amirage. And then turn that into Secure Gardener. And then activate Invocation. That will go ahead and banish, banish, bring out Macaba, invocation effect, slap the Alistair back into the hand, and then go ahead and special summon out Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect, and then that will go ahead and grab Maximus from the deck to the hand, and then banish Amirage, and they're just scooping here. Yeah, like, like I said, this hand was just way too good, and they still had more too. Yeah. There's not too much you could do about that right there, but... Going on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see Dragonlink choose to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Talons, Tracer, Drago, Red MD, and Abs. So they did open up the Drago, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, and then they have Aerial, Droll, Nib, Ecclesia, Lightning Storm. So this hand works. It's not super crazy. They do have multiple going to second cards, though. And then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out Tracer, special summon out Abs, make Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect to go ahead and add Boot Sector launch from the deck to the hand. And then they're going to drop Draw on Lockbird, Talons, Peep the Hand, hit Ecclesia, and then activate Boot, and then go for Seal, and then pass turn, draw Draw on Lockbird. And then they're going to go ahead and Lightning Storm, hit the Boot Sector launch, and then pass, draw Chaos Space. And then Chaos Space, get rid of Red MD, go grab White. And then they're gonna drop Droll and Lockbird. And then Banish Striker, Special Summon out White. Go ahead, turn that into Striker Dragon. And then said White, have you read Droll and Lockbird? <laughs> Normal Summon out Drago, and then Battle Phase Poke. So one or 2,900 damage, and then Striker Dragon effect, add back Tracer, and then End Phase reveal it for Drago. Pass turn, draw Schism. And then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out aerial, battle phase, attack seal, seal effect will activate, bounce, and then seal can't resolve. Yeah, they only have lights and darks to summon. And then draw safer. Chaos base, put back striker, draw into Nocto. Yeah, they definitely messed up last turn by summoning out white. They could have just normal summoned out Drago and still had a dragon in hand at the end, but they just forgot about Droll, I guess. And then normal summon out safer, go ahead and battle phase, poke, and then poke. And then main phase two, pass, uh, reveal tracer, and then they draw Alistair. They're gonna summon Alistair, effect, go grab invocation. And then turn that into Amirage. I wonder what they play in their extra deck. Okay, yeah, so they do play the Raijin. And then invocation, go ahead and grab Alistair. And then they're going to go Battle Phase, beat over Saferd, and then Main Phase 2 pass, draw Talons. And then they're going to Normal Summon out Tracer, on Summon Effect to set, and then Talons Effect to take, and then they admit defeat. So now moving on to Game 3, 
we are going to go ahead and see the Shadal player choose to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Chaos Space, Talents, Levianir, Ravine, and Dark Ruler. So they do have like you know some going second cards here that can work. And then they have Judgment, Meltdown, Ecclesia, Prosperity, and DDG. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice hand. Meltdown. That will go ahead and grab Alistair from the deck to the hand. Well, they opened insane game one and three. And then Alistair effect, go grab Invocation. Like this match, the dice roll mattered so much. And then go ahead and make Secure Garden uh, Invocation, go ahead, Banish, Banish. Bring out the Macabre. And then activate Prosperity. Banish three, and then go ahead and mill three. Grab Shadal Fusion. It's a lot of Meltdown. And then Invocation, put itself back, grab Alistair. And then Special Summon out Ecclesia. Use that effect, and now we'll go ahead and grab Maximus from the deck to the hand. And then Banish Amirage, Summon out Maximus. And then Maximus effect, they're going to go ahead and send two. And then they're going to send Ash and Apcolone. And then Apcolone effect will activate. Go ahead, grab Schism. And then discard Shadal Fusion. And then set some end phase ash effect. Go grab Knight, like Macabre, Knight, Judgment, DDG, Schism. Yeah, there's there's just you're not beating this. Simple as that. Activate Ravine, activate DDG. And then yeah, they admit defeat. They didn't even get to see all of it. Will they flip it? Aw. I was gonna say like flip the back row, show them. Uh I guess, like, you wouldn't want to, like, give information to the next person, but, like, they can just, like, click on the replay, skip the game three real quick, and then see. But I, I guess that's fair enough. But, wow, okay, so who's next? Hidden City. So now it's all the way down to one and one. Uh, Team Code Duffy just had two. Got hit down to one. Team Randoms Unite is now at one, or has been at one. So, wow, are they really going to hit the reverse sweep? That'll be insane, honestly. That That's what we want to see. You can see that the match itself was only about 25 minutes long. That was a rather quick match. Uh, game 2 was a little bit of back and forth, but Game 1 and 3 was just game. <laughs> First turn game. Uh, but with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. I'll see you in the last video.